Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to, once again, be attempting to create the ultimate weekend setup for the Mud Park, except we're going to be taking a little bit of a different approach this time. This time, it's going to be focused around camping, of course, with our Earth Roamer, and, of course, the ATV side of going to a Mud Park. Now, usually, whenever we come out here to Rock Runner's Mud Park, it's always either in modified pickup trucks or big mud trucks or even monster trucks, but this time, I figured I'd take a little bit of a different approach because whenever you go to a real world mud park, there's always a bunch of ATVs and side-by-sides, not just modified mud trucks. And so that's what we're going to be focus focusing on today. Now, let's go ahead and get the tilt deck trailer actually tilted down. And then we're going to go build the two ATVs that we're going to be using today. So let's go ahead and tilt that trailer down. Stop the engine, just because we need to use the engine power to tilt the trailer. I know it's not that way in real life, but it's kind of one of those things that uh, the SnowRunner physics system kind of requires you to do. Or I guess I should say the game system itself. Now, first ATV we're going to grab is actually Red's new ATV, which is the Foxer. Now, this one is going to go ahead and be built real quick. There's really not much to do on this thing except for swapping the suspension out and swapping the tires out. So let's go ahead and make sure we got everything done with this thing. Definitely got to make sure we have our tools as well. Although, you know what? I don't really feel like we need our tools this time because the tools are in the RV. So I'm not really too worried about them. Now, I think in terms of color, I'll probably go for something kind of like maybe like a, uh, like a deep blue on it this time. I really like the look of the deep blue. I think it looks really, really good. So now let's go ahead and get you up on the trailer. No, oh, easy. And actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to set it right there, um, kind of right behind the trailer while we go build our other ATV and then load it onto the trailer as well. And that is going to be Dub's new side-by-side. -side. Now, I was thinking about taking out the Lander 1000, but I figured since we already had a four-wheeler out there, let's grab the mule. So let's go ahead and do the turbo-tuned engine. We're going to do the trail box and we're going to do probably the active max lift. And then we're going to combine that with the most mud-centric tires we can find. So let's see. Awesome mud tire and mud tire alone. All right, that will absolutely work for our purposes on this map. Now let's go ahead and throw the roof rack up there. And I'm thinking... I don't really need the hitch because we're not really going to be hauling anything. But I will put just about every add-on that I can, including TC's toolbox, back there in the back. And then as far as colors go, I think we're going to run uh, red on this thing while we're also running on the blue on the ATV. Or I should say the four-wheeler. They're both ATVs because technically they're both all-terrain vehicles, but one is a side-by-side -side and one is a four-wheeler. Either way, it's time to go ahead and get these things loaded up. So let's go ahead and I think I'm going to shut this one down. We'll hop on the four-wheeler and bring it up the trailer. There we go. Not bad. And then now I'm going to actually... Nope. Now I'm going to go and use that trailer's tilting mechanism to bring it down. And swap over to this guy and drive him all the way up the trailer. Now that that's done, I can actually swap back into the Earth Runner and then activate the ramp again, tilt it up again, and then get in the. I should have left it running, but it's no big deal. I really, truly should have left it running. All right, let's ease you up onto the trailer. Oh, dude, this is actually a really cool setup. And not only is it a cool setup because of like the way it looks, but like. I really do feel like, I mean, if we're talking about super high-end setups, this is something you could actually see. You know what I mean? This is not, like, just something that happens in a game. This is legit something you could actually see. And now, let's swap back into this thing. And I think I'm going to back it up just a little bit, just to kind of create a little bit of spacing in between the two vehicles, just so we don't run into any uh, collision issues. And we're going to go ahead and pack them up. Strap them down to the trailer. Bro, this is so legit. Like... I love this freaking setup right here. This setup is awesome. And I also love how you can actually see it in the rear view camera right there. You can actually see the ATVs in the rear view camera and the rear view mirror up top. Oh, this is so sick. This is so freaking cool. Now, just to go ahead and let you guys know, this truck is the Earth Runner, a also basically the Earth Roamer, and then the trailer is actually the Olven Tilt Deck out of the Pog Trailers pack. And then once again, both of these ATVs are either, well, I should say, at the time of recording this video, the side-by-side -side is on consoles, and the four-wheeler is in testing, but I'm sure as of the day of recording this video, it will be on console soon. Now, let's make our way into the mud park itself, and I want to go to some of the areas that we don't really spend all that much time in. 
Although I also would like to activate the suspension and get this thing sitting just a little bit higher up so there's a little bit less pressure on the rear tires. And I just would like a little bit more kind of load-bearing capacity on the rear uh, suspension. It's easier around this corner. We could take that ATV trail loop, and it would be a really good loop. It'd be a really challenging loop as well. But I kind of want to take these things to the other side of the park and see how well they do over there, because I've legitimately never taken any ATVs to the other side of the park here. Literally none, ever. I wonder if they could make this jump. As a matter of fact, I wonder if they could jump over the Earth Roamer. That would definitely be something we'll have to try sometime. That, that's, that's, quite a, that's quite an idea. Now, let me actually go ahead and run my radar. And that should discover, actually, a good chunk of the park. Almost, like, almost all of it, actually. Depending on how much, at least on this side, at least on this side of the river. So, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That actually discovered almost all of the park on this particular side. So, let's make our way, like I said before, over to the other side. Because there's some obstacles over there that I think may apply pretty well to both of the ATVs we brought, actually. And I'm really excited to test the limits of these things in the mud. Because mud is definitely one of those obstacles, especially in Snow Runner, where, oh my god, are you gonna crash? Holy crap. I don't know what almost happened there. But, like, the game almost crashed on me. I, I, I do not know. I have no freaking idea what actually just happened. I've never had that happen before on this map. I've legitimately never, ever, ever had that happen before on this map. That is ridiculous. All right, so we've got a little bit of a mud circuit right here. This would actually be a really cool place to test both of these out. So we need to actually pull over to the side here and kind of find ourselves a decent unloading area. God, I love that setup so much. It's so freaking cool. Like, I, I cannot get over how cool that setup is as a whole. All right, let's unpack these things. And now we're going to go ahead and stop the engine. And let's go ahead and get them both off the trailer. Now, I don't really think we're going to need to worry too much about, uh, you know, tilting the trailer to unload these things. Because they're both capable. It's not like they're going to run into a massive issue with driving off of a trailer. Come on, come on, come on. Is it just me, or is this thing really, really, really quiet? I feel like it's super quiet. Either way, let's go in and see what you can do around this little mud circuit. Let's see how it goes. We might actually be... Oh, I think that's backwards. I, I'm pretty sure... It doesn't have an entry sign that says, you know, this is the in and this is the out, but I, that feels backwards to me. All right, let's go. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a little bit more of a full send than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. All right, well, maybe we should have been a little bit more careful there. Maybe I should have been a little bit more specific about where I was positioning the actual ATV. Div lock is always on, so that's good. Oh, I'm really curious to see if we can make it around the entire course. I'm trying to kind of stay a little bit to the edge because I know that this thing will be completely, like, completely overwhelmed by the depth of the water and the depth of the mud here. I mean, it is way more gnarly than I ever expected. Now, granted, I have never attempted this circuit in anything, so attempting it in an ATV before attempting it in anything else is probably a really sketchy idea, but you know, we like sketchy ideas sometimes, and so I was down to send it. Now, I do wonder, especially in comparison to this, how the, uh, the mule is gonna do, but I'm definitely having to stay up on the banking because I feel like if I go down there in, like, in the really muddy water, I'm gonna just wind up completely sinking. Oh, God, it's getting extra steep right here. It's getting extra, extra steep right here. Oh, my jeez. Dude, that is completely and totally over the top of the four-wheeler. That's way more than I bargained for when I originally headed out here. That's nuts. All right. Don't mind me, I'm just knocking trees down. It's fine. That was a sapling anyway. I didn't actually mean to winch. I'm trying to get through here without winching. I didn't actually pull with the winch at all. So I'm considering it to not affect this run whatsoever. Not that this run is timed. I'm just trying to, like I said before, get through it without using a winch. Come on, find some grip. Dude, this thing is like... It is struggling for grip, but then again, I mean, look how deep the mud is. It's literally almost all the way up over the tires. There's really not much I can do about that at this point. Oh, come on. It's it's moving, though. I'm so close to having a little bit more movement. Okay, I got, yeah, I got the, uh, the right side tires up onto some slightly more packed ground because I know that if I was to try to drive this thing in the middle, it would just, it would be over, and it would be over fast. 
Amazing center of gravity tuning, though, because I'm literally able to drive along this edge and not worry about flipping over. Can I drive over this tree? Yes, actually. I can drive over both that and the sapling, no problem at all. Although I'm kind of getting stuck on the sapling, so I really hope it doesn't grab onto, like, my diffs or something. Okay, we're good. Come on, come on, come on. Now, since it's diff lock always on, what would happen if I put it in automatic? I mean, it's not really complaining all that much. I mean, and if it starts to spin, all I really have to do is let off the throttle and then get back into it when we get a little bit more grip underneath the thing. The only thing that is weird about it sometimes is when it tries to shift on its own, it can sometimes kind of like take all of the power away that it's actually driving to the wheels and just stop it. And it kind of gets confused occasionally, especially if you're not at full throttle. Automatic mode likes to be at full throttle in a lot of vehicles in this game. So that's not surprising and that's not anything on this particular four-wheeler at all. That's more of just one of those things that the automatic transmission in this game is kind of known to do. So, let me go put it back in low plus and see. Oh, dude, I think it might be beached here. Uh, I think I might have oofed it. Oh, God. Bro, I can't back up. I can't go forward. I think I'm stuck. Now, granted, I'm sure I could winch it out, but how... Dude, we were so close to making it, though. We were so... Hold on a minute. Is my engine really that damaged? Dude, my engine is so hurt. Oh my god. I didn't even realize my engine was hurt. All right, let's grab the mule and see how it does in comparison. Because I will say, this thing has some really tall snorkels on it. So water damage isn't going to be that big of a concern. But it can still get swamped out and get stuck for sure. Although... It, whoa, this is actually even without diff lock. So we're just like raging it through without diff lock. And if it starts to spin on us, all we got to do is turn the diff. Oh, no. I'm going to give myself one chance to do that because flipping over was the last thing I expected, especially after getting out of that four wheeler that we were just driving because that thing had an incredible center of gravity. Like, it was so low to the ground. This thing is a little bit more tippy. Just a little bit more on the tippy side. Oh, God. I gotta really focus on how I position this thing because if I don't, I will flop it. Is there any way, shape, or form that I can just maybe get a little bit of extra grip? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all I need. Lockers, please. Oh, there we go. That's the grip I needed. The only problem is I gotta turn back into the deeper mud sometimes to avoid flipping over. Oh, it gets real steep right there as well. And the mud gets extremely deep again. God, this is not easy stuff in any way, shape, or form. I mean, this is genuinely challenging mudding. No matter whether you're, like, on the four-wheeler or in the side-by-side, -side, trying to go kind of diagonally up on that edge. And now I might switch sides because I think it's a little bit less steep over here. Oh, no. Yep, yep. Had to tie off with the winch that time again. Man, I cannot believe how much I took that center of gravity tuning for granted when I was driving the four-wheeler because, man, like, that thing is so well-balanced. Not saying the lander is not well-balanced. La uh, not the lander. Oh, my God. This thing, the mule. Not saying this thing is not well-balanced. It's actually really realistically tuned because these things can be pretty easy to flop in real life. But... Man, that difference in the center of gravity is wild. By the way, what's up, bud? Also, I felt like I hit a wall of mud right there. I don't know what it is about this particular spot. Now, this thing actually dug in and eventually worked its way through it, but I completely understand why the four-wheeler got stuck because this is a really, like, this is a really gnarly run, especially if you're in a four-wheeler or a side-by-side. -side. I would definitely recommend coming to this particular little trail out here on Rock Runners Mud Park because it is an incredible test of your vehicle's abilities. And even if you're in like a smaller truck that isn't even, you know, like an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, you can still have a substantial amount of challenge out here. Had to do kind of like a crisscross right there because I felt like if I drove too far up on one side, it would probably end up not going well for us. Come on, ease it around. I think I can work this into a workable spot. Come on, just be nice and easy with, with the steering. Work it back and forth. 
Maybe low minus because I am just spinning. Although I am so incredibly close to the end that I feel like we, we've got to try. I mean, we are literally right there. Ain't that right, Beans? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Found the grip. Let's go. Dude, let's freaking go. Almost there. Not automatic because that will delete my diff lock. Man, he really put in a lot of effort when he was making this trail into making sure that the mud was never the same twice. Like, right when you start to feel like you're getting comfortable, you literally, like, go back and you're like, hold on. It's not that, like, this thing is not getting comfortable. It's that, like, the mud is changing. Oh, I don't know how I walked it sideways like that. I have no clue how I walked it sideways like that, but I did it. We freaking made it, dude. We freaking made it. Oh, my God. All right. I am going for a uh, celebratory jump. This needs to happen. It's not going to be very fast, but I think we could. Uh, I think I think we could benefit from like a good yeet, a good send. This is a steep yeet. Oh god. Oh, steep yeet. Actually, that went really, really well. <laughs> that went way better than I thought it was going to go. That was freaking awesome. All right, let's head back to the truck, and then now we're going to get back to the campsite. Now, there is a campsite on the other side of the river that I want to make sure we get to before sunset. What time is it in game right now? Okay, so it's like later on in the afternoon. It's not too bad right now. Not too bad at all. But we're also going to have to uh, winch the four-wheeler back to safety. So let me just hop into the Earth Roamer. We'll get that ramp down. And I'm going to actually just leave it running so we can drive this thing up there. And I'll honestly, I'll just reverse it on. And I think we have space, even on this, like, you know, three-quarter section of the trailer. We have enough space on this three-quarter section of the trailer for both vehicles. So what we'll do is I'll park that one right there. And then I'll grab the Foxer ATV. And we'll actually put our toolkit to use that is... Remember how I said that we didn't need the toolkit because we had tools in the truck? Yeah, so I... I screwed up on that one, and I don't know if I could... Well, actually... Ha! I'm gonna do a freaking backflip over the guardrail. I literally was about to say, I don't know if I can make it over the guardrail, and then now I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I, I did not mean to come up with this genius plan, but somehow it worked. Alright, there's the truck. So let's get you back onto the trailer, and we will head to the campsite for the night. God, I love this setup. This setup is so nice. Let's get you backed up onto the trailer. Ooh, easy. Come on. All right, we're good. Now, go and swap over. Man, that thing needs some repairs. Good. All right, so let's back you up. Why did I turn this thing off? It's like I, I knew I was going to have to drive it again. So why did I turn it off? That makes absolutely no sense. Like, why, wh why would you turn it off? Alright, let's ease you back just a little bit. Now you're good. And so now I can actually use all of the spare uh, the spare parts in the... Uh, oh, not refuel. I'm good on that. Repair. Alright, target. The... What? That's the only thing in range? Okay, fine. We'll fix it when we get back to camp then. Alright, we'll get them packed up. And then now, we can get this whole setup turned around. Let's get our... Uh, well, we don't need our lights on yet, but we might need our lights on in a minute. Now, what's a good spot to turn around up here? Actually, oh, it's just a loop, so we can just, like, loop it right around. Easy! I will go ahead and turn the lights on, though, because the sun is definitely starting to go down. Fortunately, it is a very short drive back to the campsite. This, this facility is, like, it's not that big in terms of space, but, man, what he did with the space? Bro, the, he, there is, like, not an inch of this map that went unused. Like, every single acre of this map got used for something in terms of the development of this mud park. Uh, sorry for throwing y'all around back there on the trailer. Don't worry about it. Now, what's the quickest way to get to the... Oh, perfect. I actually blew past the turn a little bit. Did not mean to do that. Alright. Let's make our way on down here. Fully laid into the power. I love how they're like... <laughs> Like, they're secured, but they're like, uh, they're, they're like moving around in the, um, the freaking, uh, wheel chocks. Alright, let's see if I can get into this campground without knocking everything over. I should be able to. 
Sup, fellow campers? Unlike you, my my camper is on my frame. I didn't tow it here. <laughs> yeah, literally how to get thrown out of the campground 101. All right, how do I... Oh, no. I didn't realize that sign was solid. I... Ooh, that was bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, she's good. Where do we want to camp? I mean, I, 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 you know what? I guess we'll just camp in the circle right here. It'll be all good. We'll have a nice, like, we'll make a nice fire. It'll be, you know, it'll be a nice chill evening. I just, I don't know where to put my trailer, but I think we've got enough space right here. I think we should be fine. And then tomorrow, well, we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Hmm. But if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this RP, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later. And I hope you guys enjoyed.